Uh, all the homes that are being built now in Nashville or in Davidson County have to test at five air changes per hour or less. In this home, after it's all done, insulated and air sealed should test right around three air changes per hour. One of the biggest things that can be done in almost all climates is getting mechanical equipment and duct work inside your conditioned envelope. So our goal today was to learn more about energy efficient building practices and E3 Innovate was incredibly helpful in showing us what they're doing with their homes um, at this one and all around Nashville. One of the best things that you can do is get, all, get um, some continuous insulation on the outside of the structure. In Davidson County, as of January 1st, all new construction has to be built with a fresh air system. Now, exterior basement walls, you will likely want to be insulated. We're here today because we're working on a senior design project this year. Uh, the Vanderbilt has sponsored us to work with Sterling Ranch, a sustainable community being built in Colorado, about 45 minutes south of Denver. So our groups are working to design a zero energy home for Sterling Ranch. In Colorado, you'll likely just have an easier time controlling moisture than we do here. Yeah. Typically here, a dehumidifier is required, or a really good idea in an unvented crawl space, in a conditioned crawl space. Um, your rim and band joist is a huge area for uh, air infiltration in your home. So have you guys thought about how you're going to be dealing with the top half of the house? Is there going to be an attic or is it going to be fully vaulted to see on the attic? Yeah, we have to decide. It's unfinished. We don't know okay. the best way to deal with that. If you have a flat ceiling with not a lot of ceiling penetrations, then it might make more sense to leave that attic vented and install an R50 plus of blown insulation. Most of the homes we do now, we're seeing a lot more people that care about you know, energy and efficiency of the homes. Meeting with E3 Innovate today was very helpful. They were able to show us the best of the best in Nashville, and we're hoping to be able to take those practices and bring them to Colorado and show them a little bit of Tennessee out there.